sheep. Change your looks. Change your life. So he probably came from a boardroom. What does it look like? Start with you. What do you say? I was looking at him. Well, maybe something else. Spray drips into your teeth. Looking at their image saying... Remain skeptical. You are the skipper! You're looking at videotapes. Who's in charge? I'm in charge. I can stare you down. Access cable TV channel showed pictures of a naked man Saturday night, and some people who saw it say they were shocked. Should the board draw the line at, at any place, or how far can can you go in public access TV? Well, our experience has been. That you still think you're in charge? You still think you're running this? I'll show you. I'll show you what I can do. I can make you think of anything I want to. Let's see you think of a rubber glove. Let's see you think of what time it is. Think what time it is. Now I want you to think of something else. I want you to think of an... What job do you think you'd want to have if you're part of this uh, major export industry with military technology and entertainment? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So, um, what do you think that, uh, um, you know, what's the attraction then? Why do you think that you think it's, uh, okay? By the way it sounds, the way he was reading. Well, this is boring. Let's see what else is on. Hey, wait a minute. That's me. What's going on here? How did I get on TV? This and they'll tell you about what you can do, and it doesn't cost anything. I said, well, I ain't got nothing to lose. I might as well go try it. So, I... I didn't know I had this in me. Uh, I guess a lot of people do. So out of this, 
I developed a whole nother personality. And this is my other personality over here. Hi! I'm Big Vic! I make Big Vic's video. Right here on Channel 14. I also make Vic's View on Channel 14. Yeah, I produce it. I direct it. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. Yep. This is a really say, nice award. Say, man. What I, you doing with my award, man? Sure it, what you mean it's your award? That's my award! Television was the finest teaching instrument ever contrived, ever to erupt out of the technology of humankind, right? I knew it had to be true, but until I started watching myself in that tube, myself, looking at myself, I really never knew who Wozendik was. There, there was a teaching experience. You know? I mean, I, I was, I revealed to myself as one of the scumbags of all time. It was, uh, it was a, uh, a solemn, a profound moment. The trouble is, in loving myself, looking for a, a totality of experience, you see. How do I love the scumbag? Very difficult, very difficult. But I'm trying, and you're helping me. You're helping me enormously. <clears throat> I won't tell you how, because you wouldn't understand. But you are, you're helping me, enormously. Can he hear me? Yes, he must hear me. To answer me? No, he doesn't answer me. Just be with me. So, um, I got a promotion to begin with. That's good. That's good. I'm getting more money um, doing the same work that I've always done. I'm, um, but I have more people that have to respect me now because um, although they don't know exactly how much more money I got, I got more money, okay? And um, so that means I've got more responsibilities. For another thing, I got two more keys, okay? I got two more keys. So, um, overall, I would have to say that my career is, you know what I'm saying, way up there, okay? What do I win? What do I win? 
What, what, do, you, what, what do you want? Oh, yeah. Oh, look. This must be the captain. Ah. Oh, look, a fish. What happens next, Angel? The little mermaid wanted to know everything about the creatures called humans. Hmm, I'm very interested in all the creatures called humans. How can I find out about them? Do you know anything, Mr. Fish? About humans? About humans. Well, I know they don't taste very good, so I never cook them when I'm at oh. home. Boom. Boom. Oh, hey, do you know anything about humans, Mr. Little Blackfish there? I'm very curious about humans. You're a very curious creature. You don't look at all like those crabs. <laughs> some nice party clothes, you know, the, the latest ones that you see in the catalogs that come to your house all the time. So um, overall, I'd have to say that uh, I'm uh, doing pretty well, doing pretty darn well in uh, many aspects of my life. And uh, say what you will, think what you might, but I presented the facts to you. Um, OK, make your own judgment. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Uh, hi, what is, what is your name? Sophie Dallas. Okay, my name is Wally. Uh, do you play some musical instrument? No. No? But you know maybe the song Pots and Bands? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I want to, that you do something for me now. And you should compose in a new way, in a very short way, the song Pots and Bands. This means uh, go around and, and take some objects you can find and put it together and make a song. And the song has the title, How I Feel When I Read a Newspaper. What, 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 uh, do, did you understand me? Yeah. Yeah. So you put some object together and make a, a song, a mu musical, yeah? And you have in mind how I feel when I uh, read a newspaper. And when you when you figured out how to do that please call me back okay okay thank you okay. Right. well are you just at home and you just were watching tv and stuff yeah i've been watching it for about an hour yeah i saw it i saw it about a half hour ago <laughs> <laughs> there's like a whole bunch of people that watch so you know oh who are you man where am i are you a sponge am i a what sponge yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, fun. Uh, are you on the show? What? Are you performing this show right now? Are you on TV? Uh, I think we both are, man. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Let, let's make the political statements, too. We, we could say it. Dude. Look at the TV, man. <laughs> We're talking back. <laughs> what do you want to say to George Bush, dude? I don't know. Uh, be a president. <laughs> Killer. What's missing? Branches, leaves, trunk, but no roots. Church. What's missing? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, brown, but no black. What's missing? What's missing? What's missing? What's missing? What's missing? Hey, soldier boy. Mom, 
what three minutes trying to get in here on the phone line and cutting down our show when you should have been writing a letter to help your environment it's people like you that are up in government right now and that's what is, is scary as hell you know that scares the hell out of me that's why I have this TV show to, to talk and try to help people you know before they turn up like you Ollie Norris shouldn't be prosecuted well but he should go to straight to Reagan yeah. put the blame where it belongs I mean things go on in the world like that that you and I don't have any ideas about the whole world goes on like that. The Israelis, everybody. If you don't have that type of people in your government, then you're going to end up with a Michael Dukakis. Well, in I mean, how do you think how things will be then? Well, we're not. I'm not saying anything about any leaders because it's it's like, do you want your daughter to to date Charles Manson or yeah. Ted Bundy? You the know, I mean. Well, yeah, I agree with you. I mean, non question. Yeah. Fifteen miles. Box one. Oh, Jesus. Right. Roger that. Ten miles. He's back on my nose. Box one again. Eight. Watching him up. Six miles. Six miles. Alley two. Alley two. Turning into me. Roger that. Five miles. Okay, he's got a missile off. Freaking right. Good hit, good hit on one. Watch your head. Good kill, good kill. I've got the other one. Select box two, select box two. I got the box two. Coming hard, stop. So fucking shoot him. I almost got a tone. Got the second one. I got the second one on the nose right now. Hey, I'm high cover on you. Get a fuck, get a lock him up. Lock him up. Hey, shoot him, box two. I can't, I don't have a fucking tone. So what? The pizza man's here. Our community. Where's the water? Yeah, no, Bob. You guys are dumb. Yes. What's happening? Uh, we're having pizza. Hey, listen, I wanted to say hi to Mike this the Domino's Hank. guy. This, this is Hank, a friend of his. Hank? Want to hear an ad for Lebanon Valley? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Let's hear it. We have somebody new here that's taking over the show. Uh, on three, Hank. All right. On three, Lebanon Valley Speedway. One, two, let it go. Thursday night, Lebanon Valley Dragway. It's going to explode. High speed, super fuel strikes for strap limit of 10 speeds are up to 200 miles per hour. <laughs> All strikes are by the way. TNT, Red right Man, All American Pulling Series. Adults $5, kids under 12, get in free. Hey, hey, Bob. Hey, four ten an hour There's plus tips. All right, how much am I making? All right, out there. No, oh, you couldn't hear it. All right, for free, it's worth it. Or should I still talk about those cops? Eating the hell out of a guy. You want to pick an element? Um, three. All right. Six. You see the picture go off. Yeah. Right now, I'm so mad because my sister just told my mom because I started to smoke. And I got in trouble. This time I think I'm really in trouble because I got grounded. But now I'm going to explode. Yesterday I was playing baseball. I got hit in the head and I have a big one. And I'm really, really mad. This is just taking me off. My dad thinks I'm stealing money and doing drugs. And they're really mad at me. And my neighbors are mad at me because I hit their house with a ball and it broke a window. And everybody's mad at me. My grandma's mad at me. My dad and my mom. And right now I could just explode. It's not funny. I would just like to jump into a fire and kill myself, but that's besides the point. What do you think about these guys beating the boy in L.A.? This is really sad, but that doesn't have nothing to do with it. But I'm still mad because now I can't smoke and I got in trouble and grounded and I'm really, really in trouble. And I like to play baseball, but I won't be able to play this summer because my mom said I'm not so careful because I got hit in the head with the ball today. What, what, is this for a project for school that do, um... No, not at all. I think that um, it's, it's uh, important to talk about these things, and uh, public access provides an opportunity for people to share these ideas. I see. Yeah, well, that's good. All right. Um, yeah. So thank you very much for calling. Okay. I'm watching here, and I've decided this is a quality television. <laughs> There's many other channels to choose from. Know what I think? Oh, I think it's all right, thing. man. Um, what? Who's that? Hey, this is great. Uh, dude, could you turn with you quiet? I'm in a deep conversation with you. Dude, I, I know. I want to get in on it. Oh, okay. Well, I think, but I was just going to get my two cents in about the war. No, well, well I'm trying to get my two cents in and trying to prove to you that I'm just a concept. The floor is yours. The conversation. You know why there's a war? Because of this kind of stuff. Okay, what do you think the war is about now? That was your, that was your initial question, right? There's no doubt that it's about oil. Oh, fuck, dude, you have such a basic understanding of this. What do you think? That's, 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 that's the most basic level of understanding, well, man. Well, what do you want me to start going into? This is Channel 14, for Christ's sake, dude. Yeah, okay, the, talk the about war. world economics. World economics dictates... Oh, come on, Now we're spending a billion dollars a day. You know, how, you know how pumped up the economy is going to be as soon as we take over Iraq, which we will do, by the way? What are we going to do? We're going to... Uh, we're going to be the only American military power is vindicated and indispensable. We're going to make sure 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 we're going to I'm going to try and fire it here. You want got any tips for me? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing pretty well thinking about who's in charge here, huh? <laughs> but you still don't believe me. You still think you have to be seduced. You think I have to seduce you. Keep you watching. Well, maybe I don't or maybe I do. You think I'm nasty. You bet I'm nasty. 
Here, take a look at this. <laughs> All right. Let's give this a go, huh? Now we'll see who's watching who. Already? Uh, 